two of the fantasy football season, and he has a few wide receivers. I would start this week. The first guy is DK Metcalf of the Seattle Seahawks. So in week one, he got off to a slow start in that ball game as Metcalf, but he finished off strong. He finished the game with four catches, 60 yards, and a touchdown. And him and Tyler Lockett both had big games here. And now here in week two, he's got a great matchup versus the Tennessee Titans. Where we saw DeAndre Hopkins and Christian Kirk just go off versus that Titan defense. And the Titans, they're leaky in the secondary. And right here, I think DK Metcalf, he goes out there and has another big game here in week two. And I think it's going to be even a bigger game than he had in week one in Indianapolis. And the Seahawks team, they look pretty solid. As long as they're healthy, they're one of the most dangerous offenses in all the league. And DK Metcalf, he's definitely one of the most dangerous receivers in the league. And I think, once again, he has a pretty good game here. And he's a must-start this week versus the Tennessee Titans. The second wide receiver I look to start this week is Keenan Allen of the Los Angeles Chargers. So this week, he's got one of the best matchups you could ask for versus the Dallas Cowboys. And so far, in my quarterback and wide back video, I mentioned to start Herbert. I mentioned to start Eckler. And now I'm going to mention to start Keenan Allen last week. Keenan Allen, he had a great ball game. He's a receiving PPR machine and a target machine as well. Week one versus a pretty solid Washington football team defense. 13 targets, 9 catches, and 100 yards. And here in week two versus the Dallas Cowboys, I think he's going to break 100 yards once again. I think he's going to get at least 7 or 8 catches. And I think he's going to find the end zone. So right here, it wouldn't surprise me to see Keenan Allen put in a top five wide receiver performance this week, or even number one, because this Dallas Cowboy defense just can't stop anyone. And we saw all those Tampa Bay Buck guys have big games, except Mike Evans in that one. The next wide receiver I look to start this week is Julio Jones of the Tennessee Titans. So Julio, he had a horrible debut for the Titans last week in week one versus the Arizona Cardinals. But here, after Mike Rabel pretty much bad mouth Julio Jones pretty bad here for his play and his performance I think Julio he's gonna be pissed he's gonna get going and he's gonna have a big game here because when you call Julio Jones out that's when this guy plays his best with motivation and kind of his back against the wall and here at Seattle this ball game I think it's gonna be a mini shootout where all these guys are gonna have pretty good games I mentioned Metcalf is a great start this week and I think Julio Jones he's gonna show his head coach why they traded for him, why he's still a big-time receiver, and he's going to have a big game. It wouldn't surprise me to see Julio get 125 to 150 yards in this game and find the end zone because this Seattle defense isn't that great, in my opinion. And we saw Zach Pascal just go for two touchdowns on him in week one, and I think Julio has a big game here and sends a message to the Titans and all the NFL in this one, and he's a start this week. The next wide receiver is Cortland Sutton of the Denver Broncos. So we saw Jerry Judy go down in week one with a high ankle sprain versus the New York Giants. And Sutton, I know he had a horrible game in that one in a limited role with only one catch in week one for 14 yards. But now he's going to have to get more of an expanded role with Jerry Judy down. And I know they tried to ease him into it, but now it's game time. Now it's week two. And now they got a good matchup at the Jacksonville Jaguars who we just saw get shredded by a weak Houston Texan offense in week one. So right here, Gordon Sutton, I think they're going to let the chains off him. And he's going to have a big game in this one, in my opinion, is Sutton. I think he could get 70, 80 yards, sot five or six catches, and find the end zone. It's a plus matchup. I know week one was a down week for him, but I think week two is a redeemer type of week. And he's going to redeem what a good week here is Gordon Sutton and the fifth and final wide receiver. I look to start this week's Antonio Brown of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Antonio Brown, a very great week one for him versus a weak Dallas Cowboy defense. And now he's got another great matchup versus a weak defense in the Atlanta Falcons here. So in week one for Brown, five catches, 121 receiving yards and a touchdown. And this guy, he had 80 or 90 yards already at halftime. So he left some points out there on the board in the second half versus the Dallas Cowboys. And even on a deep play, Brady just missed him or would have been another big touchdown. So A.B., in my opinion, he looks like the Antonio Brown of a few seasons ago. The speed is there. The sharp route running is there. And he just looks happy and motivated right now is Brown. And him and Tom Brady are best of friends. And right here in week two, I think he has another good ball game is A.B. And it wouldn't surprise me to see him crack the 100-yard mark once again. 
and find the end zone. So that's a few wide receivers I look to start here in week two of the fantasy football season.